Hello folks, uh, and how are you doing? <coughs> Welcome to OP Painting. It's been a while. Um, I just wanted to do a quick video on airbrushes because I've got a lot of, uh, I've got a few messages on the types of airbrushes and, you know, the ones I use are the Infinity C Plus, you know, the, these and the HP CS Iwata Eclipse. Now these two are quite dear, you know, this one is about 200 pounds. So I think it's around $230. And this is about 170, 170 pounds, $200. So what I thought I'd do is, I literally yesterday ordered a budget one here, a best. This is like 12 pounds, 12.99. And I thought I'd just check it out, you know, for all the people who are on a bit of a budget and just want to get started in airbrushing. This is the box it came in. So it's pretty budget, low budget one. Oh, it's the lowest one I bought. So what I do is I'm gonna I'm gonna do some tests with this one to show you how it works, and I'll compare it to the other ones. But I'll just uh, just move it like this here. So what I'll do is I'll use these two. Actually, I'll use black. I'll use black and yellow because when you change colors. It's more, uh, you know, it's more of a contrast there. And, you know, you can pick out the black easily to see if it's clean properly. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to just put some airflow in here. And I'm going to put, a, yeah, I'm going to put black in. And then we're going to, we're going to test it. Okay. All right, guys, I'll just hook it all up. And I'll just put the compressor on. I'm going to put a little bit of airflow. Airflow improver is a must, you know, it really loosens up the, loosens up the, the flow of the paint. Air, airbrush flows. And then I'm just going to put a few drops of this Vallejo Air black color. Get my uh, brush here, just mix it. Now I've got this today, so we're just gonna I'm just gonna check it out. I mean it's brand new, so it should work. But oh, it's a bit of yellow there, but okay, let's push this back a bit. So you can push this back here. It's a bit of a controller which controls this. The only thing with this one is it's not dual action. So as soon as you press it down, paint will come out. Now looking at this. It's not bad for a budget one. It's not bad at all. You know, the only thing is you're gonna to have to have a bit more control with your trigger because there's no dual action. It will just, the paint will just come out. So you just have to just press it slightly. But the good thing is you have this control at the back. So when you wind it in a bit, wind it all the way, Well, there isn't much control, to be honest. If you wind it a little bit more, that's the only thing with this one. Let's wind out the paint there, but let's try and change it now. So I'm gonna quickly change it and put yellow. Okay, I just cleaned out the bucket, uh, the color. I've got a video on showing you how to do that. And I'll put it in the description on how I changed the color. So I've taken all the black out and now I'm going to try and I'm going to mix this. I well, just might have a little bit of green in there, but never mind. And then I'm going to spray this now. So there's a bit of black, but it has cleared up pretty quick. So, and the spread is pretty good on that, the way it's coming out. So it's not bad. Okay. Okay, so now what we'll do, we'll try the Iwata, yeah? And we'll check that out. All right, so now what I've done is, I've put a bit of flow improver in there, and we've got some black. We'll mix it up, check it out. Okay. Get another piece of paper. So let's check this out. 
see as I'm pressing down, this is air coming out, and then as I pull the trigger, the black paint comes out. Bit of yellow in there still, but it's clear. Yeah. So that's the only advantage. That's it's a big advantage actually because you can, you got more control. Because when you're using a miniature, you know you're more you're more near it, and then you can start releasing. You know the paint. Whereas with the budget one, as soon as you press it, the paint comes up. So there's a slightly a lack of control, and I would I really pr prefer the control to be honest the air comes out and then you move the trigger back so and uh and this one this color changes usually because i've been using this using this since the start of uh of painting miniatures and the hard, hardware stein back is the same too so i just wanted to show you a little example of a you know a budget one now this one just turn the compressor off here thing you'll notice with the budget one is obviously it doesn't feel like when you hold it it doesn't feel solid like the uh, infinity or the awating and you can tell these things are made with a lot of precision and as well as obviously it's, that's why it's a lot more money but if uh, if you're starting out in, if you're on a budget this is good but it, if you can find one similar to this that has dual action i would probably recommend that more because there's more control with that because as soon as you press this down the paint comes out and uh, personally i don't think that's i for me it's not ideal for miniature painting because you want to have a bit more control and for example with the with the infinity you have a control here with numbers one to six so you can bring that in and then you know and then it can stop, it stops right there, you see? And then it, you know, you can move it back and then you can just do little down and little squirts like this. So there's a lot more control with this and you get a lot more of a desired, well I do, I get a lot more of a desired effect that I want. So, but if, you, but if you are on a budget, I would recommend this one, but try and get a dual action, action one because there's a lot more control. But, um, it's a good one to start off with, you know. But if you're if you're actually making terrain or other stuff, then this is fine, you know, for terrain, scenery, spraying big uh, hills, uh, huts and stuff like that. Perfect, perfect for terrain. But for miniatures, I, I personally, I wouldn't recommend this. I would recommend a budget one like this, but with a dual. Okay, so I hope it helps. Hope this helps. I just thought I'd... Uh, share that video with you i had a few comments on airbrushing i'll try I'll, i will do videos on beginners for airbrushing because a lot of people get intimidated by the airbrush and i just want i just want to make make it uh clear in the videos that it's not intimidating you know you've got to see it as you know have fun with it you know and then you will get to know your airbrush and you will know when it's not working when it is and i'll show you everything about that and i'll show you quickly how to how to get used to painting all the mid-tones, shadows and highlights and the base coats, with the, which is what I tend to do with the airbrush. You know, I, I do the whole overall model like that and then I start working with the paintbrush. So it's, it's, a, it's really good. You know, most of the top, top painters are using airbrushes to start off with and then they finish off with painting. So definitely uh, invest in a good one once you, once you started with a beginner one and you've and you've gotten into it, then move on to one of these, Infinity or Awata. I would recommend both of these. They're absolutely brilliant. Okay. I'll have the link in the description for the budget one, and then you can check out. I'll try and find a dual action one as well. And I'll have links for these if you, if you want to as well. Yeah. So I will see you in the next video.